Hello everyone, I'm Alex Dima and welcome back to Amnesia and Machine for Pigs. This is episode 2, so uh, continue previously play game, yep. Yeah. And if I remember we left off where we wanted to go inside the child's bedroom. So I think we're going to explore that place first. Actually before we do that I think we're going to explore to the right. I mean the game isn't loaded up yet so I can't really remember what happened. Okay we're back. So uh, I need to up the mouse sensitivity, that's better. Okay, so yeah, this part of the right button, it was nothing there anyway. Let's check inside the um, the children's bedroom, because there was something inside here. Like the music that I didn't like. Uh, and it's a teddy bear. Alright, fair enough. It's a kid's bedroom. Nothing I can read there. Wait a minute, isn't there literally nothing inside here? Where's the music coming from then? Oh, is it here? I can't turn it off. And I can hear, like, babies crying. It's really faded. Um. Oh. Okay, we can go inside the bedroom. Nothing on these shelves. What? There's somebody inside here. Don't know whether. Can hear him what running as well. So we've got a Bible again. Check the drawers in case there's something inside here. Oh, there's no. Okay. That's why you always need to check the drawers. Uh, February 14th, 1899. Yes, he said. I know of these ruins. He was a shabby fellow. All rotten with some malodorous disease. I caught him looking at me strangely. As if what he really wanted to know was how I knew of them. Biting back the temptation to, to box this year from the impudence, I simply smiled and told him that my family's library contained intriguing travel books. Um, my webcam performance is gone. Okay, it's back. Let's continue. The literary oath did not understand that, of course. He agreed to lead us anywhere. I have told the children truly. This will be an extraordinary adventure. If those old stones hold the financial benefits, I predict, it will be merely the first of many. Hmm. Okay. Check the rest of the drawers in case there's something inside here. Um, no, it doesn't seem like it. Again, a lot of wine bottles. So, this is definitely alcoholic. I'm about 80% sure. 80%, that's because I don't know the story, so... That's up to the game to decide. What's down here? Just a window. Nothing really. Okay. Now let's go down this big place here. There's a downstairs. Alright. What do you want? I'm, I'm going to check that after. Because there's some doors here. And they're locked. So I can't check them. Let's go downstairs. That door seems to be locked as well. How about this one? Oh, no, that one's locked as well. Great. Oh, this is nice. Okay. A lot of paintings. And... Oh, I can use this. You don't mind if I record this, do you? I find it most useful. Ah, you have one of those wonderful tomato head fills. No, of course not, my dear fellow. It's my own design, Professor, along with everything you see. Most useful. You understand, of course, where the ministry sent me. That they have... Concerns. What do you mean by that? Hmm. Really interesting. I don't really understand what he's talking about, but I guess I'll know in the future. Okay. What? Why did that happen? Is there a train nearby? This place is really that old. Can I play the piano? No, I can't. So the piano was playing on its own. I didn't realise that until now. That's weird. Uh, and there's a rifle. Can we get that? No, we cannot. That could have been really useful. Even though I don't think this guy knows. How about the monsters that are gonna show up? That will show up, hopefully. Um, okay, there's one door open. Straight path into the office. 
I guess this is the office. And somebody's ringing me. Who's this? Hello? Precious Eagle Cactus Fruit. Help us. What? Who's that weirdo? <laughs> e Eagle Cactus Fruit. What does that have to me? Oh well. Let's check the drawers. Nothing in that one. How about these smaller ones? Mm, don't think so. Oh, we got a note. Okay. November 7th, 1898. The bank is refusing credit. The ignorant swine. I sit alone at night and weep. Once the children are servants and are safely asleep, where they cannot hear me. My darling, how I need you now. They say I have squandered my fortune, but my investment in these latest machines has ruined the family name. What? That I was to remain a local butcher? What are these two arms compared to the multitude that can be applied, without pay, without tire, by adapting the mechanism we find in the looms and the miles? But if a bank has its way, it will all come to nothing. If they come for the house, I swear I will kill them. I will kill them all. I will take my rifle. My rifle. So we can take the rifle now? Is that what it's suggesting? Because I did see the... There's some more here. Oh well. Can I get him? Oh. I accidentally discovered something. So, reading notes. Good. That's a hint. So hold down left and... Yeah, I know. I did open something. Don't know what though. Okay. But I'm actually going to try that again because it did lock down. What's this? Oh. There's a secret passageway. Let's try that. There we go. Okay. That's pretty cool. Who's that? Guessing that's one of the children? It couldn't be anything else. Oh well. Let's continue. Um, I can't. Oh, there's a passageway here. So we can stir back in the office. This is kind of weird. I can see everything. What's this? Clockwork and the soul. Replacement is this is factory, so like is a pump. Better than intestinal canal, like a tapeworm. Already hosting instruction and the breed. Brass better than copper, more resistant. Flaments soon to bone hold. Marrow pipe removal with needle potential. Composite replacement straightforward. We respond to electromagnetic inducement to increase yield rate. Serum provides accelerated resetting resulting in naturalized movement within two to three days. Subjects still require severing of front lobes to reduce emotional distress upon reactivation. Damn. Damn it. Damn this wretch soul. If only it were a clockwork. Hmm. Still don't know what's going on. I guess not some kind of manual. That's a weird painting to have. Just a dead person. This oh. morning epoch, this age of reason, an empire grown fat, ripe for the bleeding. Okay. Some more weird paintings. Oh, we got some actual pictures now. This is really weird, having like a, a fake window on the other side of a bathroom. Really weird. We've got a leather. What does this do? Oh, it opens up the uh, secret passageway to get out. Great. Explore that. And uh, now what? Where am I? I'm in a hallway. Some more paintings, and it. Okay. Don't know why everything is breaking down. How about inside here? In Lily's honor and the queen. Four glassy orbs fixed upon a point in heaven. Wipe down your trousers, man. There is blood in this sweat and it is most unseemly. Oh. Okay. It's got dark outside. You can tell because of a... What's going on? One sec. Okay, I'm back. What are those noises? This is a monster now. Really? Oh, listen, another note. Edwin and Enoch's diary, October 3rd, 1899. Daddy says, we're not allowed to play with the animals anymore. 
we were playing hide and seek with Kirk and he came and shouted at us. Just as we were hiding behind Mr. Grumpy Teddy, Kirk says it's because of the guns in there, but he always lets us help polish them. Is it can't be that? Anyway, that room is haunted. If you sneak around there at night, you can hear the ghosts in the walls behind the cases. They are often angry, and that's how it sounds. We think that's why you can hear them rattling their chains and slamming doors and things like that. We don't like in there anyway. Okay. So after we read that, we're going to check over the rest of the doors and go downstairs and check what's rest. But I think I'll leave this for next episode, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, why not leave a like rating? And if you're new around here, let's subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye everyone.